Give the call to the member for Curtin. This is a question for the Deputy Prime Minister. You've not released the ONI report on the security risk of climate. We're still waiting for an integrated national climate risk assessment. Do you agree with the internationally accepted findings that the impacts of climate change will drive political instability and fuel regional and international conflict? And what specific policy responses does the government propose to risks like food security, mass migration and the destabilisation of markets? I give a call to the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Defence. Uh, well, I thank the member for her question, and she raises a critically um, important issue in terms of uh, the geostrategic position that we face and the strategic landscape that we face. And the short answer to your question is I do accept uh, that the uh, pressures of climate change uh, will give rise to a more complex uh, and volatile strategic landscape for the world, uh, but a strategic landscape that we must face as well. And, and the, that, in terms of our landscape, is reflective of the Order. fact that a lot of the pressures in relation to climate change and its impacts on populations around the world happen in respect of populations around us. And so we will need to be uh, very mindful of the way in which we posture ourselves in respect of that. Hence the fact that uh, the ONI has been deeply Order. engaged on this question, as has defence planning. Um, this is an issue which was given consideration in the Defence Strategic Review in terms of the demands that have been placed on the Australian Defence Force, uh, but it is also beyond what was described in the Defence Strategic Review an issue which is being considered in the context of the geostrategic landscape that we face um, and what issues that that might, might give rise to uh, in the future. This is a really important issue. Uh, Order, I very much the manager thank, of opposition business will I very much rejecting. thank the member for raising it. Uh, and we are very keen to engage with not only the crossbench but the entirety of the parliament about the way in which our country can plan for that future.